hope you're doing really, really well. I made it. I'm in Patagonia. I can almost hardly believe it. It's a proper pinch me moment. Looking out of my huge window, I can see mountains. I can see trees blowing around a lot. It is very, very, very windy. But I'm here and I can almost hardly believe it. So in a few days, I'm going to be racing across Andes, which is a thousand kilometer gravel bikepacking race. Um, I think it's going to be even more challenging than I thought because the weather forecast is pretty poor. There's meant to be snow, maybe, rain, definitely, wind, absolutely. So I've had to rethink my whole strategy. I've left the tent at home. I'm looking into staying in hostels along the way and I'm having a bit of a last minute panic about clothing, obviously. So today I'm going to head out and go for my first proper ride here in Chile. I'm so excited. I don't care that it's definitely going to rain an absolute ton. It's a good chance for me to test out my clothes. So I'll show you around the place I'm staying because it's just gorgeous and I want to show you and I'm very excited. And then um, get dressed, test the clothes, show you around. I just, it's so cool here. You, you're going to be blown away. <coughs> So here's my cabana. I've gone accidentally fancy. I tried to book the backpackers and it was fully booked. So I've ended up in this nice place all on my own. Um, sadly, my partner Sam doesn't get to travel, travel with me very much um, because we have too many children. So I am um, enjoying this place all to myself. In the background, a view of the mountains. Facing me, a view of the mountains. I mean, it's pretty lush, right? I'm very lucky. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be like this once I set off on the race. <laughs> um, oh my God. It's quite bloody windy. I'm gonna check the forecast again before I set off. I know it's gonna rain, but I wonder what the wind speed is. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Right, time to get dressed, which you'd think would be simple, but if I wear all the waterproof stuff, because it's definitely gonna rain, then I might get very, very hot. So, oh, it's a bloody minefield. I kind of like this aspect of ultra racing and bikepacking racing, and equally, I kind of don't. Um, I like that once I'm on my way, what I've got is what I've got, and you just have to deal with it. But also, I wanna make sure that um, what I've got is, kind of right so i'll show you the options right so in here a load of stuff i probably won't wear or even take because it's just far too lightweight i've got i mean really nice but ultra lightweight jerseys and whatnot i just there's no point in even taking that so potential options i'll show you all these when i've got them on um i've got some velocio cargo um bib tights that's what i'm leaning towards wearing um, and then I've got a long sleeve merino Velocio jersey. I've got a really nice warm sportful um, long sleeve base layer. And I think that's gonna be the sort of foundation of what I wear. On top of that, I've got seven mesh waterproof pants. They're called thunder pants, which obviously amuses me. And then I've either got the matching jacket, which unfortunately has a rip in it, but I've seen a roll of gaffer tape up there. Or I could go for Velocio's waterproof Gore-Tex trail jacket. Um, maybe I'll just go for that. Then I've got this ridiculous merino cap thingy um, and some very warm gloves. Slightly messed up on the socks. Don't think my socks are warm enough, so I'm gonna have to head into town and grab a couple more pairs. But yeah, okay, enough chatting, let's just go ride. waterproof but the obvious problem is I'm going to be way too hot so I think if I have to put the waterproof stuff on it means taking off some of the other stuff first it's
go. Ah, straight onto the washboard. <laughs> Two facts are immediately obvious. No, three. Firstly, this is not going to be a fast race. Secondly, oh my God, it's windy. Third, I'm super overdressed. I am so hot. So I'm glad I've done this. Let's to adjust to Sunday. I was getting really psyched out about the weather when I was back at the cabin and now I'm out it's really not that bad downside is I'm absolutely bloody boiling sweating my tits off it's uh 14 degrees 14 15 uh so the forecast is completely wrong and I think that's what I need to remember when I'm here apparently you can have seven seasons in one day there are a lot of really really gorgeous dogs out here um and they all seem to live outside they have owners but they live outside most of the time and they have such incredible thick coats to get them through well the seven seasons in one day but they're lush i wonder if i'm gonna see any llamas oh my god if i see llamas well race is over uh, what there's going to be a lot of stopping on this race. I don't want to race so hard that I miss everything and I definitely don't want to ride through the night. I have made some vague plans of where I'd like to get to and how many kilometres I'll be doing each day and it's a challenge. Finishing in time for the party is a challenge and that's one I want to take up. I think I'll go for the Lantern Rouge. <laughs> I knew this would happen. Now I'm out riding, I've cheered right up. I was really sort of stressing in that cabin. Now I'm riding, all is good. Possibly because it isn't actually bloody raining and the wind's died down, but anyway, all is good. Bloody hell, I'm having such a weird up and down day. Proper crisis of confidence just now because I looked at my Garmin Hold on, I'm gonna go down a hill. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, now I'm trying to ride up loads of gravel. Um, I looked at my Garmin and it estimated that it's gonna take me 20 hours to get to the first place where I was hoping to stay. And that's just really way off what I thought it was gonna take me. So, yeah, because I've been a bit poorly as well. I'm just starting to worry about everything. Can I do it? Should I be trying? Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go back to the cabin after this ride and do a bit of research to see where I could stay if I don't make it to the place where I want to stay. <laughs> Right, I've had some food at my new favourite spot in Koyaiki, a vegetarian and vegan place, so, so good. And I've got a cake in my saddlebag. Now I'm gonna go back to the cabana and uh, freak out stroke plan. <laughs> plan what I'm gonna do. I, I just, seeing the Garmin say how long it was gonna take me to get to the first place I wanted to sleep. Yeah, that's freaked me out, that has, throw my mood off a little bit. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to figure out an alternative plan so at least I have two. So one more modest where I'll sleep earlier, the other the original ambitious plan. <laughs>
So yeah, I'm just gonna have a roll back to the cabin and try to express. So I hope you enjoyed having a little glimpse at Patagonia and um, what I'm up to over here. I will follow this up with some more videos ASAP. So chat to you soon. Bye.